Hello, hello. Blartanian here with a Should You Pull for Yuna LDBT. I'll be discussing her upgrades and sharing my thoughts on their value, and I'll do it all in less than 4 minutes because that's how long this royalty free music lasts. Before we begin, be sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. They're both little things, but they really help support the channel, and I'd appreciate it if you could toss them my way. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts on Yuna as well. I'd like to hear from you. You can also catch me alongside Raw Life and Type Zoe on the live stream, our weekly Defo stream every Monday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern, featuring discussion, gameplay, and more than a few good laughs. I'll leave a link in the description. Look forward to seeing you there. So what can Yuna do for you? Yes, that is a reference to Final Fantasy X-2. You're welcome. Yuna is receiving a small but useful rework alongside her new weapons. Both of her skills got improved battery and no longer add to turn count. Cheer is now instant turn and had its heal boosted to 60% of max HP, which is a chunky heal and potentially relevant since we've seen a few orbs that demand heals of at least 50%. Her LD is where the excitement begins. Upon using it, it cleanses debuffs from the party and does a big attack that grants her Valfor overhead and 12 turns of a new buff called Believe, which I find very inspirational. Believe has some terrific party auras, including the requisite Brave and HP damage up, although roughly half the stats are locked behind a conditional in which the party needs to have no debuffs on them. While this isn't a tall order for the best cleanser short of a diet rich in fiber, it can trip you up if you forget about the generic defense down that they dropped on your tank right before you go into your burst phase. So just something to keep in mind. The LD also upgrades her Brave and HP attacks, so they hit harder, battery the party, and charge the EX gauge faster, so you'll be relying on those and only using her skills to cleanse, heal, or re refresh buffs as needed. Speaking of burst phases, Yuna's burst phase is quite powerful. The auras it gives are potent, although uh, they have the same debuff conditional. Having your aura bot also carry your burst effect is terrific when paired with turn hogs like Terra, Cloud of Darkness, or um, I feel like there's there's a unit who would really pair well with Yuna, both in mechanically and then thematically, but I can't for the life of me recall who that would be. Um, and it's on the tip of my tongue. Now. On her own, as a pure aura bot, Yuna is quite solid. She provides terrific support, healing, battery, and auras, kind of the holy trinity there. That being said, there are other aura bots we have access to, like Queen or... Uh, <laughs> Rosa? <laughs> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> uh, Yuna has an important edge over them, and I'm not just talking about the burst weapons, which itself is a uh, relevant enough advantage. Here's the thing. What sets Yuna apart from every other unit in the game is her Esna. No other unit can match her ability to quickly, repeatedly, and thoroughly remove debuffs from the party, unless you want to pair Cyan with Ash, which you should really only do if your name is Necklord. Cleansing is an essential tool to have in your roster. Debuffs are a very common threat, and we've seen more than a few that bypass debuff immunity. That's not even getting into fights where the Lufenia orb requires cleanses. These tend to be highly toxic mechanics, so I'd say there's a strong incentive to bring the best answer possible to deal with them to make your life easier, especially since the fights are designed to showcase her will definitely ramp that toxicity up to 11. So if you take what Yuna, uh, what I said about Yuna being a great support unit in the broad sense and combine it with how thoroughly she covers a frequently toxic mechanic, what's to stop you from saying Yuna is a must-pull unit? To be honest, there's not much I can say against her. She's really solid all around while also being best in class for a useful niche. I can understand passing on her if your resources are kind of tight and saving for upcoming units, but you do need some good cleansing to fill the void. Hey, that, that's uh, it's kind of foreshadowing. That fuck.